Hello there traders, I'm Maria Staradup and this is the review of Crypto Analytics from FX.co. It's the 12th of January today, Friday, and finally all Bitcoin TFs were approved, as we know, and today we will discuss this event and some other events that affect uh, Bitcoin and all the cryptocurrency codes. And uh, we have an article today by Tom Petrenk. So the long saga of approving spot Bitcoin TFs, whose intense fees lasted for two months, concluded with a statement from the Securities and Exchange Commission approving all applications. Despite the weak reaction of Bitcoin to this event, significant increase in trading activity and renewal of absolute highs was uh, taking place. And uh, however, there are reasons for concern regarding the short term prospects. Apart from the classic overheating of Bitcoin and the fact that the absolute majority of when coins are in profit, fundamental market sentiments have declined. This is primarily due to changes in priorities and expectations regarding the Fed's policy, and there is a high probability that investors and traders have overestimated their expectations, which may now lead to the start of a local correction uh, in the crypto market. So, what are the events uh, do influence uh, the uh, market sentiment? First is inflation data, which was already published yesterday, and um, that uh, would have a significant influence on the Fed decision at the end of January. And thus, this opinions are divided regarding the report reflecting the change uh, in the consumer price index for December 2023. And uh, traders and market makers suggest, uh, suggest that inflation in the US may accelerate in November, returning to the 3.2% mark. This could be a reason for uh, that prompts the Fed to delay the start of easing monetary policy. Um, according to CME FedWatch tool, uh, only 2.6% of investors and traders are confident that the Fed may lower interest rates uh, at the meeting on January 31st. Meanwhile, another pause in raising the rate is no longer perceived by investors as a positive signal, as the markets expect the beginning of a cycle of easing monetary policy. Considering this fact, Bitcoin and other investment assets are under increased pressure from sellers. However, there is, there is every reason to believe that the situation may change if inflation falls below the 3% target, uh, restoring hope for a faster start of Fed's uh, easing of monetary policy. And the current CPI forecasts are among the most uncertain. Uh, so heightened volatility is expected in the markets and considering the start of uh, Bitcoin DF trading, a real storm is expected. So uh, a couple of words about uh, the start of Bitcoin TFs. So the commission <coughs> approved all the 11 applications from such companies as ARC, 21 shares, Bitwise, BlackRock, Fidelity and others. Um, and uh, yesterday marks the start of ETF trading, so it's quite likely that liquidity volumes and volatility in Bitcoin market would sig significantly increase. And from this day, uh, banks, investment and pension funds and other in institutional investors can invest in Bitcoin. Uh, despite the overall positivity, uh, Securities and Exchange Commission Chairman uh, Gary Gensler noted that uh, the approval of uh, the ETFs does not change the regulators' attitude to cryptocurrencies and their status. Uh, he remarks that despite this approval, the regulator does not support or endorse Bitcoin as a cryptocurrency. And now let's have a look at the chart and see what's happening there. The last few days have been maximally volatile, Bitcoin leading to the liquidation of traders' positions. And by the end of uh, the day before yesterday, the asset tested a new high at 47,600, then dropped to 44,300, and it ended the trading day at the level 46,500. 
as of yesterday the cryptocurrency was trading near the 46,300 level with daily trading volumes around 52 billion dollars. Despite the conclusion of this saga with approval of spot contest, the market remains highly volatile, increasing the chance of price manipulation by market makers. Additionally, the positive impact of the approval may be overshadowed by the resurgence of inflation in the US, pushing expectations for the start of monetary policy easing to the second half of this year. And making a conclusion, Artem says that leading crypto analysts and financiers have called the approval a turning point for the crypto economy. The situation of the market with liquidity will reduce its volatility and accessibility to manipulation, which in turn will significantly increase its investment attractiveness. Also, the Bitcoin holding will begin in April, providing additional support to the assets quotes leading to significant growth in capitalization and renewing its high above $70,000. Okay, let's have a look at the chart of Bitcoin for the moment. And it's the 12th of uh, January and Bitcoin opened today at the points 46,279 and now it is trading at 46,004. And if we look uh, back to yesterday's evening, we can see that very high volatility. Bitcoin um, reached uh, the highest level at 48,648 uh, and then it dropped immediately to the same level, around 46,000. Now it's almost at the same level it was yesterday in the beginning of the day. So the situation hasn't changed dramatically. Well, this is all for today. We will see each other after the weekend on Monday. I wish you to have a nice weekend, have a good rest and profitable trading, of course, and see you next time. Goodbye.